We're told that the quadratic expressions m squared minus 4m minus 45 and 6m squared minus 150 share a common binomial factor. What binomial factor do they share? And like always, pause the video and see if you can work through this. All right, now let's work through this together. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to try to factor both of them into the product of binomials and maybe some other things and see if we have any common binomial factors. So first, let's focus on m squared minus 4m minus 45. So let me write it over here. m squared minus 4m minus 45. So when you're factoring a quadratic expression like this, where the coefficient on the, in this case, m squared term, on the second degree term is 1, we could factor it as being equal to m plus a times m plus b, where a plus b is going to be equal to this coefficient right over here, and a times b is going to be equal to this coefficient right over here. So let's be clear. So a, let me just have another color. So a plus b needs to be equal to negative 4. a plus b needs to be equal to negative 4. And then a times b needs to be equal to negative 45. a times b is equal to negative 45. Now I like to focus on the a times b and think about, well, what, what could a and b be to get to negative 45? Well, if I'm taking the product of two things, and if the, the product is negative, that means that they're going to have different signs. And if when we add them, we get a negative number, that means that the, that the, the, the negative one has a, larger, has a larger magnitude. So let's think about this a little bit. So a times b is equal to negative 45. So this could be, let's try some, some values out. So 1 and 45, those are too far apart. Let's see, 3 and 15, those still seem pretty far apart. Let's see, it looks like 5 and 9 seem interesting. So if we say, if we say 5 times, if we were to say 5 times negative 9, that indeed is equal to negative 45, and 5 plus negative 9 is indeed equal to negative 4. So a could be equal to 5 and b could be equal to negative 9. And so if we were to factor this, this is going to be m plus 5 times m, I could say m plus negative 9, but I'll just write m minus 9. So just like that, I've been able to factor, I've been able to factor this first quadratic expression right over there as a product of two binomials. So now let's try to factor the other quadratic expression. Let's try to factor 6m squared minus 150. And let's see, the first thing I might want to do is both 6, both 6m squared and 150, they're both divisible by 6. So let me write it this way. I could write it as 6, actually I'll just write 6m squared minus 6 times, let's see, 6 goes into 150 25 times. So all I did is I rewrote this, and I just re really I just wrote 150 as 6 times 25. And now you can clearly see that we can factor out a 6. You can view this as undistributing the 6. So this is the same thing as 6 times m squared minus 25, which we recognize this is a difference of squares. So it's all going to be 6 times m plus 5 times m minus 5. And so we've factored this out as a product of binomials and, some, and, and, and a constant factor here, 6. And so what is their shared common, or what is their common binomial factor that they share? Well, you see when we factor it out, they both have, they both have an m, m plus 5. So m plus 5, m plus 5 is the binomial factor that they share.